your local print shop. The question is, how local is it? Well, we have Michael here from Footprinting. And what what are you talking about? You you brought this up and well, why is your question? What's I've been noticing on? a lot of people that are either claiming to be print companies or yeah. print brokers that act like printing companies that aren't really printing local and that don't really have employees, aren't purchasing from local vendors, aren't doing any of that. And then they're just outsourcing everything they do. Really? So printing, you know, <clears throat> different industries have different barriers to entry and, and with printing in a commercial printer of our size, which is still a very small shop, it's still, you know, millions of dollars to be able to have the same equipment that we have and be able to compete with us. Yeah. So to avoid those barriers, some people just say, oh, we're a print shop and they outsource everything. Do they, will they sometimes go so far as you can put like an old printing press just in the back room so it looks like there's something back there and then with sound effects? <laughs> that would be good. Yeah. Sound effects. Like something that's just hitting the floor. <laughs> 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 there's maybe somebody in a microphone. <laughs> <laughs> but really, but they'll, but they'll work, they'll, they'll pr put, pose themselves basically as locals, it, but they're just calling yes. somebody else to do it. And the, and the way I came up with this is I ran into a guy that ran runs a print shop older guy, I'm not going to say his name. He says, oh, everything's going good. He said, I got rid of all my equipment. I said, oh, you're still in business? He said, yeah, now I'm just farming everything out. And, and we've printed stuff for this guy before, yeah. but he's always beating me up on price. You know, I still got to so make some money. You so know, he, all he is, is a, he's not a printer anymore. He's a middleman. Basically. And that's what a lot of these guys are. And, yeah. and that's fine. I would just double check with them that they're actually printing it local because if you, I would hate for people to think they're printing local. Yeah. They go to this company that says it's local, has yeah. a local address, and then they're just farming it out wherever, you know, and those dollars are going probably never to be seen but in the Cleveland area oh, again. No, anywhere. I just, that idea just upsets me. So a couple ways, you know, go visit the print shop. Makes you know, sense. ask about the history of the print shop and, you know, different printing techniques they use. Ask to come in and do a press OK. Uh -huh. If I go in and do a press OK, you know, I, you're seeing you, it. You better print. see, you <laughs> yeah. see the equipment. Or yeah. you'll, they'll be directing you to a different location that probably has another print shop's name on there. And if it's local, great. That's all I really care yeah, about, right. you know, is yeah. keeping it in the area. It doesn't have to be with foot printing. I mean, I would like it to be. Sure. <laughs> so um, those are just some of the ways. What are the other ways? You know, just seeing, you know, checking them out online. Also looking at some of their literature, uh, even just doing a Google search to see where their address is. Most print companies are not located in office buildings like this one. <laughs> well, the printing yeah. presses are pretty hard to get up and downstairs, <laughs> exactly. right? Exactly. Do you have your end? Yeah, yeah so, if they right? say they're in a building and they're on the fourth floor, <laughs> there's no way they have an offset printing press that's up there. That's not bringing the whole damn building down, most likely. So these are just some ways that you can ask them if they're printing local or just, you know, to double check and make sure because there's a lot of companies I know locally that are not printing companies, acting like they're printing companies, and then farming all their stuff outside of the Northeast Ohio area. So be careful out there, my friends.